Good evening, everyone. The 17th annual Orta Shore Mountain Bike Epic might be remembered for the fog and mist that covered a good portion of the courses. That didn't stop more than 1,500 competitors from getting out to their races. There are two reasons why the Orta Shore route doesn't include the TV6 studios. A busy US 41 and lots of fog Saturday morning. Here's the Hard Rock Division turning onto County Road 480 a couple hundred yards after the start through downtown Nagani. The lead pack had 11 cyclists when it went through the Cliffs Mining Shaft in Ishpeming. Volunteers and law enforcement kept the traffic clear for the racers. About an hour into the 48 mile hard rock race, the riders passed through the Kiwanis aid station off Deer Lake Road. Most of the top cyclists avoid the puddles. The lead pack still had 10 cyclists as it turned onto County Road 510 in Nagani Township. And that set up a great finish as Jordan Wakely of Grayling, Michigan wins the race in two hours, 26 minutes, 51 seconds, one one hundredth of a second faster than second place. This has been a goal that I've wanted to win this race for the last seven years. This is my seventh order shore. And I've come close before, but this is a dream come true to win this one. This race kind of haunts me. It's my 11th time doing it. And uh, I did the soft rock a number of years and then the hard rock for the last several years. And last year was the closest I came to winning and we finished right side by side. McCutcheon finally took first by herself this year. She edged out Caitlin Patterson in the Hard Rock with a time of 2 hours, 36 minutes, 38 seconds. Ross Williams of Williamsburg, Michigan won the 28-mile 28 so 28 soft rock race with a time of 1 hour, 21 minutes, 33 seconds. Hannah Mork of Wausau, Wisconsin took first in the women's soft rock at 1 hour, 30 minutes, 40 seconds. Northern Michigan University and the Green Bay Packers announced today that Green Bay native and former NMU Wildcat offense alignment Kyle Stuke signed with the Packers. Stuke has been signed to the 90-man roster for Green Bay. Stuke received all GLIAC honor, honorable mention in 2014 and spent two seasons on the GLIAC all-academic teams. Stuke is now the second Wildcat this year to be signed to a 90-man roster, joining Marcus Tucker, who's with the Pittsburgh Steelers. From football, we head to golf. The Upper Peninsula Golf Association continued the men's UP finals. Today from the Sioux Country Club in Sioux St. Marie, Michigan, Frank Kuchert Jr. leads the pack with a 213 overall. He shot a 72 today. Austin Kirkwood and Bryce Douglas are tied for second with a 217. And Rob Ryan and Jim Markell are tied with fourth with a 218. Markell shot a 71 today. You can visit us online at UppermichiganSource.com. I got to watch Michael Phelps on the podium. He got a little misty eyed at the end. I well, mean, it could have been the pool water. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but Michael Phelps, uh, by far the greatest Olympian of all time, mm -hmm. uh, broke a, a record that was set in uh, 152 BC by Leonidas of Rhodes, and that was in running events. So Michael Phelps, truly one of the greatest athletes of our, of our lives that we've been able to watch and, and see him. And uh, to watch him go away the way he did tonight was pretty awesome. Then again, as they've mentioned in 2012 in London, he said, I'm done, I'm done, you know. I don't think he is. I, I want to say that he's not, but then again, he does have Boomer, his son, to look mm -hmm. after now. So he does have a son, you know, that he wants to help raise and doesn't want to have to be training, you know, all day, all night to prepare for the Olympics. So uh, congratulations to Michael Phelps. Also, a big congratulations to Kyle Stuke. A huge honor for him to be a Green Bay native and to be signed by the Packers. So I know he's loving that one and living it up. Absolutely. That's like a childhood dream come true for sure. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Ethan. You're welcome.